everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm um, just soaked for the day here, roaming around in the woods. Uh, I picked up a flame stower. So I was just coming back and I'm going to use my emberlet stove. Make a little fire and see how well it works. For those that don't know what a flame stower is, it's a device that's used for generating your own power. So I wanted it for my canoe trip. So I could recharge my phones and things like that. That's my intention. Give it a go and see what happens there. Just trying to find a little spot to set up. So anyway, it is November 5th, I believe, 2017. So tune in, get a drink, pull up a chair and get comfy. We're gonna make this nice short video today. Nothing too crazy. So take care and we'll see you in a little bit when I get all set up. It just comes in a bale, like a small bale of hay. I'm play that. Walk it in. Put the lean on top. I love my stick stone. I did a review on one of these on one of my other videos. You can check it out. Emberlit. I get a metal one. They come in titanium also. So check that out. Anyway, great little rig. So this is what it is. It's the flame stower. Yeah, it's compact. It's got a little pouch here. You gotta put water in it, fill that part up with water, and set it up. And it seems to be quite versatile. So, just once you figure out which way you're supposed to fold these here tabs, which can be interesting at times. When I first got it, it was like a puzzle. I still feel like it's a puzzle. This goes next to the fire. This piece here heats up. The water is supposed to be cold and it takes a reaction between the two and inside here there's a little grill. It's supposed to create power. Goes to this here. Adapter for a USB and when the light turns green it's supposed to be good. So we'll wait and see. See what happens there. See if it actually works. Hopefully it does because it'd be nice to have something to charge my batteries when I'm out in the woods there for a week or something. Anyway, give her a go. So there it is. We got her set up and going right now. And this part here, it's actually showing that it's ready to charge. That's supposed to turn green. This one, it's been under a minute. So. I'm going to hook up my phone and just see how much of a difference it makes when charging. And I'm really surprised how quick it was actually. So here's the whole setup. Little stick stove, heating it up. Get my phone on. Claim just charging. Down here, that's green. And when I click on the phone here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's charging. Now how long this thing is going to take to fully charge a phone, I don't know. So what I do know is, you know, if I get a stick stove going and I'm hanging out for a little bit where it's around the campfire and the fire is going for a long time, hey, why not just use it? You can charge up your devices, and unlike when it's overcast with solar panels, you can use this thing. Might as well if you're sitting around the campfire at night. We all know solar panels don't work at night, so. Anyway, my opinion of it is, yeah, 50 bucks. Why not? I like my gadgets. It gives me an option. 
it'd probably be good for like people backpacking and that. So, anyway, that's what I give it a two thumbs up. And if you have a Princess Auto in your area and you can pick them up for 50 bucks, that's great. Otherwise, I think they list for around $99. The water's not getting hot. Like I had my finger in it there. It's just almost normal temperature. So I'm just going to leave it like that. and I'll give you a final result there when I'm all done here playing. All right? Thanks. Okay, here's the thing. Fire's done, done charging. I had it going for about, I'd say 20 minutes over the emberless stove. My phone went up about 2%. So it's not a huge amount. But like I said, if your phone was totally dead or your camera batteries were totally dead, it'll do it, but it'll, it'll take a few minutes to do it. So here's my beef. It's covered in soot when it's done. So you'd have to wipe that off. So I guess that's kind of picking. But the one thing I'm disappointed in is it doesn't come with, come with a case. You know, it comes in the box, you unpackage it. It's a ton of packaging to it. And when you're, everything's said and done, you would think they would have gave you like a little case to put it in. So anyway, I'll probably get something like that made up just to protect it. And it's in my bag. But as I said earlier, for the price that I paid for it, it's not bad. It's a backup. You're not going to boost any cars with it or anything, but if you get a fire going and it's going to be long term, hey, why not use the energy that's there, charge your batteries. Anyway, we'll pack up the stuff and start walking back out. That's our little review of our charger. Go buy one. It's worth it. Hundred bucks, I don't know, but for fifty bucks, yeah, sure. I also want to do a couple shout outs here to people that have actually inspired me to get back into the woods. Uh, one of them being Kevin Callan at the camper. He, uh, he's got lots of videos on his YouTube page. You should check him out. Uh, the other person is Camper Christine. She's a brave woman. She goes on her own. She's got her canoe and kayak, and she's got a really cool channel. You should check that out. Uh, she goes on some pretty exciting trips. And, uh, she really seems to enjoy what she's doing and she's got lots of great tips. The third shout out I want to give to, which are a couple great guys and I'm amazed by what they do. And that's Northern Scavengers. Check their page out. A couple guys they go out on some canoe routes that aren't normally done. And that's one thing that I kind of fancy is Join the routes that people don't normally do. Nothing against Algonquin and all these provincial parks and everything. They're beautiful places to visit, I'm sure. But it's just something about going out to areas that you, know, you feel like the first explorer, first person that's ever been there. So, getting back out onto the logging road here. I want to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below, subscribe. There'll be lots more coming. And if you have any ideas or opinions for future videos, post up in the comments section. Until then, get outdoors, have some fun, and if not, and you can't make it, sit back, relax with a drink, and enjoy the other adventures that people are enjoying. Take care.